Now you must master this before working on anything else in the golf swing, and that is having a nice, stable, square club face. Because if this club face isn't square, let's say it's closed coming down into the downswing, your body now has to do something to open that face up to get it to point down towards your target. So what we see a lot of people do from there, they'll come out of posture, raise the body up to square the face. Let's say you're open in the downswing you would have to do something to close it coming into impact. So we see a lot of people might just stall out their body rotation and flip the hands quickly to square the club face via that. Or we may see them have a nasty early release move. So that will then get that club face to point more down to your target, it closes the face. So your body is always reacting to what the club face is doing in its orientation. So we've got to fix the reason why that club face isn't square in a golf swing. Now, this can be due to a number of different things, but the most common things I see with players is one, of course, grip. Let's say if they're a player who has that very close club face, I'll 99% of the time see them with an extremely strong grip. Lead hand seeing all the knuckles, all four knuckles, and trail hand wrapped underneath the grip. This will cause that club face to massively shut down in your golf swing. So we need to, of course, make that grip a little bit more neutral. This is where on the other side, I see this a lot for players who open the club face. They'll have a tremendously weak grip to where now they're seeing one at most knuckles on that lead hand looking down and their right hand is right on top of the grip to where that is just going to cause that club face to massively open up. So for this video, if this is something you really need to work on, make that grip standard. So it's the easy rule of thumb just to make it standard. All we need to do here is have that left hand have two and a half knuckles visible looking down and with that right hand on the golf club, that V that gets created between thumb and the meat of the hand, we want that pointing towards really our right chest area, almost right armpit. That will be a nice neutral grip. So for most people, for let's say the stronger club face, that would fix that overly strong closed face. So that's going to help those golfers. But I will see quite often for players who have that open club face, they will still open it with this neutral grip. Now, why they would do that is because they have too much forearm rotation of the left forearm in that takeaway. So where their left forearm rotates in this direction to where you can see the glove logo pointing more up to the sky in the takeaway, club head whipping on the inside, club face opening. So we would need to train this good movement also. So how we're gonna do that is through these two drills. So first drill here, this is gonna train the ideal move we want to keep the club face square in the takeaway. So this is with an alignment stick, grip it up the left hand side of the shaft just like this where a lot of it comes up the top here. Now, if we have that rolling forearm movement, you're gonna see how this alignment stick is gonna point really in front and to the right of me. And we're gonna see how the hands are gonna get a little bit further away from me. This is gonna disconnect from my side. So what we wanna do, we wanna have this stick slide down our left side in the takeaway movement. So you can see how that's gonna create much more of a neutral, very minimal rotational move of our forearms here. So that's gonna keep that club face nice and stable with our now neutral grip. So sliding this stick down our lead side keeps that club face square. Then we can swing up, swing through to get a good repetition, but really make sure sliding down that side. We don't want this disconnecting away because straight away, that's rolled my forearm, that's pronated it as it goes back. So I wanna slide it down to create that nice, neutral, square club face. So the drill we're gonna do with a golf ball is essentially replicating that alignment stick drill. All we do, we grab a tee and we put the tee in the hole in the end of our golf grip there. So now what we want to do with this tee, we want this tee to shaft parallel to the ground with a club to point at our belt buckle. So we know it's pointing pretty much at our belt buckle, it's set up, we want it to continue to point at the belt buckle all the way to shaft parallel. So if I do that with my neutral grip, that club face is gonna be really square. So if I now have that T pointing down away, so down towards the target or a little bit right of it, club face is opened up. So I wanna to get to shaft parallel to the ground, have this T point at my belt buckle, and then I'm gonna swing up and swing through. So by repping this drill out, we're gonna be creating that nice stable club face every single time. So again, point out the belt buckle, looking good, swing up, swing through. So ultimately, if we do these two drills, 
we're going to be doing everything we can to be able to keep that club face nice and square. So for the players out there who have that stronger club face, you might not even need to do those two drills. Just making that grip more neutral might do the job because this forearm movement pattern, a lot of you guys that have that stronger grip already kind of do a little bit. So for you, make sure that grip is more neutral. So there's only gonna really be one more video with this type of title because other than what we've already talked about, about what you must master in the golf swing with your tilt, with your shifting, now club face, there's one more thing, so expect another video out. And then if you get these four things, once the other video is made down, you then can work on all those other intricate little movements in the golf swing. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. So you must get that club face square before you work on anything else in a golf swing.